Hi, Mitchell. Hello, how are you? I'm so good, how are you? I'm good, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe you're here. I mean, you're always in LA, but... Yeah, but this is a different kind of situation, I guess. This is a yeah, different kind of situation. Fun. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I love it, and I feel like... Manchester brand, Manchester makeup artist, Manchester influencer. I know. We're here together, out doing big things. And I've never it. met, I've never met you before, no, this which is, the is first crazy. Time, yeah. I'm a little bit scared. And now we're to in have bed together. Here. We're in bed. That's it. Like first day, we're full on jumped in the bed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where we're taking it. I mean, it for. talk about a connection. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get a connection with you yeah, straight away. Totally. I'm a little bit nervous to meet you though, because I was like getting ready this morning, like putting my makeup on at six in the morning. I'm like, oh my god. Mitchell is going to be sat up close to me, judging my creasy concealer, judging my eyelashes. I mean, I know you're a nice guy. Oh, yeah. But so, I'm like, well, you that, can't that not something. judge it. No, to be fair, I, when I'm not doing makeup, I don't even think about makeup. I think because you know I do makeup so much, I'm like, I don't even want to look at someone's makeup. <laughs> Just stop talking. It's my day makeup, off. Guys, I, yeah. I just don't even like think about someone's makeup, but your makeup's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. What thank lashes you. are you wearing? This is really bad. I actually don't know. Well, Do you know the, what it is? Like, really this is, you'll know. So, when you get your makeup done by somebody, yeah, yeah, this is a pair of lashes that I got given. And I've, I've worn them no, again. No, they're so It was a so make artist at PLT. So. Oh, cute. Mm. Which one? At Emma Devine. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Shout out Emma Devine. Yeah, we hey, love Emma. you. I love you too. <laughs> okay, before we got started, I need to ask about your name. So I'm going to be like, M -M -M Mitchell. Okay. Right? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. So people say it like, M -M 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 -M. I'm like, no, it's M -M -M Mitchell. That's what I need to know. So like when yeah. people approach you, so like fans, you've obviously got fans. Like when people approach you, what do they call you? What are the craziest names you've been called because of your Instagram name? I mean, especially because <laughs> I've traveled so much to foreign speaking countries, like um, a lot of South America. Yeah. So yeah, I get like Portuguese, Spanish, um, but there's sometimes the way they say it, I'm like, what? what Can you, you give me about? an example like, of like- Emme, 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 Emme. No, it's <laughs> Mamma. <laughs> But I said, it's, Mama. yeah, yeah. I think I, I've not really chosen a good name for um, other languages to speak, I guess. <laughs> but I said, it's, yeah, it's not the easiest. Name but it's a memorable say. name. Like, yeah, I yeah. feel like. But to be, fair, to be fair, when I first made it, I, I just, I'll be honest, I just wanted Mitchell. Just yeah. one, not one M, simple, straight to the point. But Instagram yeah. doesn't allow that, yes, does exactly, it? I mean, it's hard to get Someone's already got it. So I thought maybe like when I'm a millionaire, I'll pay for someone to, I'll pay to have that name. That was my, my aim. And then as I sort of, I, I kept adding an M. So I, I uh -huh. ended up getting to Mama -ma Mitchell. And then as I sort of like grew, Mama -ma Mitchell became me, I guess. And yeah. now I, I get called Mitchell, Mama -ma -ma Mitchell more than I get called <laughs> Mitchell. Your actual name. Yeah, yeah, but so. for the record, his actual name is Mitchell. Just yeah. to anyone listening that yeah. doesn't My know. My mom and dad didn't have a stutter. They, like, they, actually, <laughs> they actually called me Mitchell with one M. <laughs> yeah, but then um, it's just kind of become my brand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Kind a of household crazy. name now. Yeah, We're going to get into that. <laughs> Mitchell, you are the most insanely talented makeup artist. Thank you so much. That's literally. So nice. <laughs> Known you. for your bright and colourful makeup looks, which I'm obsessed with. Oh, oh I, I mean, I'm not really the most natural makeup artist ever, so if you like natural, I'm mm. not really the one. I'm not really the guy. I mean, girl, <laughs> I'm not one for natural makeup. This is quite natural for me, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've got a full face on. But I want to know. Layers, yeah. Seven I literal layers. Yeah, Built yeah, up on yeah. fake tan a lot. I'm not messing around. <laughs> but I want to know how you kind of first started off. Like, how did you find your love for makeup? Well, I loved art in school. That was kind of where... I, I started off. Okay. Um, I'll be honest, I've never really had anyone in my life that was into makeup. Like yeah. my mum was never into makeup. My mum's more like my dad in some way. <laughs> <laughs> um, like she's really not feminine at all. Really? She's, yeah, she's a really masculine woman, which really? I think is why I'm so strong in the way I am now because she's so, she's just so empowering. And so she's like a, she thinks she's a man basically. Oh um, and then my dad, obviously he was never into makeup either. My sisters <laughs> at the time, makeup just hasn't ever been in my life. Right. Um, so I think, then I started doing art in school and I really, it was just a way for me to just release my energy and mm. my thoughts. And then um, it kind of went from there to be fair. It, and I never expected it to be a job. Like a few, maybe four or five years ago, I didn't know anything about makeup. Um, and then it's kind of just spiraled really. It's, this is why every day I wake up and I'm like, how is this happening to me? Because yeah. a few years ago, makeup wasn't in my life at all and I never thought it would be. Um, and then when I first started actually doing it as a job, it was kind of like just, just for a little bit of extra money, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I, I, my passion wasn't makeup at the time. Really? Um, I loved it, but it wasn't like my main thing. I wanted to sing, so that was like my main, um, yeah, that was my main thing. I'm not gonna sing today. Are unless, you sure? unless there's gin and tonic Are involved. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, we can get some gin and tonic in, I mean, not a okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but so I'm interested, like, I really thought, I actually didn't know this story, like what your story was gonna be, whether, you know, it was something you always wanted to be since a child, but, I didn't expect you to say it wasn't kind of your passion straight yeah, away. Yeah, it That's was, a surprise to like me. I say, I loved it, but it was kind of just something that, it was like a hobby. It was something that I, I just chose to do on the side. Um, I never, ever in a million years thought it would be a job for me. Because yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't think it could be a job. I yeah. thought, how can I 
how can I earn a living from doing yeah, makeup? Yeah, yeah. It's really, when you think about it, it's kind of like, how is that even a thing? But it's, again, as as, as the industry has got bigger, yeah. um, obviously I've got bigger and it's just, it's been unbelievable what's happened to me, to mm. be honest. Um, but yeah, I, when I first started it, it was just kind of just to pass time, I guess. And no just kind way. of to get a few extra pounds, I guess. Yeah. And so how just... old were you at that time? Like when you figured out? So I kind of, I, I developed my love for makeup as an art. Um, right. When I was about 16. That makes sense for your eyes. Like, sorry to interrupt you, but you say like it's like an art. That yeah. makes sense when I see your eyes. For me, eye that's what it is. Like so, so many people have makeup for so many different things. Like some people use it for confidence, which I think is so amazing that people yeah. can rely on makeup for that. Like, But for me, it's really, it's just my, my mind onto someone's eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I guess that's how I look at it, yeah. But so you were 16, did you say? Yeah, so I was 16. So it's been four years actually. And like, you know, when you see like all the memories. Yeah, Only it's crazy. four years. Yeah, four years. But I'd see, so many people get shocked when I say four years because four years really isn't a lot a long no, time not. but I've been doing it like every day for four years so it's I feel like a lot of the time a lot of makeup artists will probably just do it on a Saturday yeah. you know what I mean like one day a week yeah. um, whereas I've been doing it like every day staying up all night doing makeup yeah. um, that's kind of how I started and I used to do like little Instagram lives doing my makeup at 4am and people would actually watch no way yeah it was crazy um, now I'm, I'm too old now to even think about doing that now <laughs> you're you know? not staying up till 4am unless <laughs> no, like it's a big it. night out I can't do it I can't do it anymore so um, yeah but it's just crazy how it's gone to what it is because i never ever in a million years thought this is what it would be mm. ever but how was it as a boy at 16 years old going into like the beauty the makeup industry like you know what was... i think it i was really lucky to be fair yeah. i was really I've, I've obviously everyone gets it. a bit of shit yeah. you can swear mitchell he's looking at me amazing like, shit, shit i love it <laughs> say shit it's fine. No, everyone obviously gets the bad things but um yeah. i think at the time when i first started I'll be honest, there wasn't many guys like me doing makeup. Yeah, there yeah. was obviously guys that like Jeffree Star, like people like that. There was always people like that. But Especially in the US. Yeah, yeah, the in the US. But in the UK, there really wasn't anyone like me what no. I was doing. So I was I was blessed in that sense because it was a lot easier for me to get recognized, yeah. I think. And I think that's a big part of how I've grown as well. Yeah. Um, because it, when I did start, it was a little bit easier. Um, and I think I sort of dealt with all like my bullying and stuff like that when I was younger. So by yeah. the time that I started doing makeup and did something a little bit different, people were kind of like... They, they, they weren't phased by what I was doing because I'd, I'd already been a little bit weird for <laughs> however long I was alive. Um, so yeah, I, I had a really easy and amazing experience. Yeah. And this is why I'm just so blessed every day because I, I just get to experience like the good things every day. Um, but yeah, I think I learned a lot of, from when I did get bullied in school and mm. stuff like that, like, like a lot of young gay boys do. Mm. um like uh, bullying is just I, th I feel like it's part of the experience it's, it's part of growing up yeah it is it's it's such a shame that it is but yeah. bullying is really you, you're not going to please everyone everyone ex experiences it like at some age at some oh, point yeah. for some reason exactly. i mean it's ridiculous exactly and it's it such happens. a shame that we do but i think it's it's really shaped me um mm. to be in who i am today and how strong i am today like really i just don't get phased by anything and i kind of turn everything Love into a, a joke um which i think is how i kind of deal with the negativity i guess yeah um, but yeah, um, I've had a really amazing experience and this is why I just love this industry. It's just, it's been so beautiful for me, yeah. But how have you turned everything into what you've got now? So you've blown up in the makeup industry, in the beauty industry, not just in the UK, in the US as well. I mean, worldwide, let's say, you, Honestly, you know, you're touring around. How have you gone from wanting to be a singer? So you're in, <laughs> in school at 16, wanting to be a singer, how have you got to where you are now? Did you train? Well, so I went to college for music um, in Manchester. No Oxford, Oxford Street in Manchester. Is it Oxford Road or Oxford, Oxford Street? Oxford Road, Oxford yeah. Road. I get mixed you're up forgetting with, now. Yeah. Too much time <laughs> in LA, that's I it. I literally. Um, <laughs> Oxford Road in Manchester. I went to a college called Access to Music. Stop. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, I spent... <laughs> I went there for... Obviously, you go to college for two years. Yeah. Um, but I probably actually did college for maybe like a year because um, I just decided to not go in the second year. Um, We've all been somehow, there. somehow I still made <laughs> it. We have all been I still there. got my qualification. I don't know how, but <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, so I, I actually started doing um, my music qualifications. Right. Um, and it just, I think that was kind of when I started to really develop my actual passion for makeup. Right. Um, and that's when I kind of started to lose my love for singing, singing. I guess. Um, and I went on X Factor as Did a you? yeah. I was in a boy band. Um, called Hold on, can we get the name of this boy band? Uh, right, I don't tell anyone this, but okay. Don't tell anyone. Today, We're just on a podcast with a few thousand people. Yeah, just listening. don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it was called No Getaway. No Getaway. <laughs> oh, you weren't getting away from this. I just need this. to sink into the bed right now. This is awful. I can't but everyone just listening, Mitchell is like out, sliding down the bed, like hiding my nose. You've got nothing to be ashamed of, boo. Like no, you do you. It's, I'm it's, happy. It shaped me to be who I am yeah. today. But yeah, I was in a I was in a boy band called No Getaway, and we got to 
um, the Six Chair Challenge in uh, X Factor. Do you know what's weird? I've probably sat and watched you. I've probably yeah. sat and watched that episode. I'm going to go home. Like, insert clip here, guys. Like, come on. Let's get Don't this YouTube video. <laughs> Fast forward 15 seconds. <laughs> No, um, oh my and God. obviously, so we ended up getting a chair, right? So no um, I was so happy we got a chair. You literally see me jumping up in the air like, ah! Was Simon Cowell um, there then as well? Simon Cowell, Louis, um, the Nicole, originals. Sharon. Yeah, the oh my OGs. God, Sharon. Yeah, Sharon was so cute. Um, do you know what's so, this is totally off topic, but so weird. So a few months ago when I was in um, the Beverly Hills Hotel, actually, yeah. um, Sharon was actually sat a few do- a few booths down for me. And I was kind of like, do I tell her that I was in X Factor? <laughs> and she walked I past can't. me and I was like, I like your dog. <laughs> that was Stop. it. Stop. <laughs> but anyway, so um, what, what was I talking about? Getting- oh, yeah. So then we did X Factor and then yeah. we, we, we got a chair. I was so happy. And then we got our chair taken away from us. And I think oh. that after that, it was... Um, I saw myself kind of get so angry at it and then watching it on TV as well made it really? made me look even more angry. Um, and I think, I just thought, you know, if I'm getting angry about something, it's obviously it shows you passion or whatever, but it's yeah. just, it wasn't for me anymore. And I kind of saw that side of me. That's it was, a grown-up decision It was such it, like, like a little little snippet as well, but I saw that side and I was like, wow, that is not me at really? all. And it kind of put me off that whole side of um, my life, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I used to sing in like social clubs, like old men's working clubs. I used to sing it everywhere. Um, and I, after that, I kind of just lost my love for it. Right. And I think that's when my love for makeup eventually Began. grew. I guess. Random question. What was your favorite song to sing in the old men's club? Oh, well, I used to love a bit of Elvis Presley. Did so, you? Yeah, I used to love a bit of Elvis. I didn't see yeah. for an Elvis fan. Well, nobody does, but I guess that's um, the shock factor. What's the song? Oh, I mean, I love a bit of um, I'll Shook Up. Yeah. I will I bless my soul. What's wrong with me? As Let's as get a beat I, going on. I know, I was I like, I didn't, the, I didn't yeah. know the lyrics, so I couldn't help yeah, you then yeah, yeah. at all. I love <laughs> that you need to be, You need to um, rehearse some Elvis stuff. Yeah, we'll Elvis do it. We'll come back in and we'll do it again. We'll okay, do an cool. Elvis, yeah. you know, we'll just do an Elvis, an Elvis tribute. Yeah, I yeah, love it. <laughs> you were on, a pop, no, it wasn't Pop Idol. You were on X Factor. X Factor, yeah. I'm not that old. I was not on Pop Idol. But you were also on American Beauty Star. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell me about that. So obviously after X Factor, it was a really... It was an experience, I have to say that. It was a, <laughs> it was a whole situation. So I think after that, oh, I was kind of done with TV. Right. Um, I was kind of just like, I, I don't like how you really have no control about who's... Really? Who, like, about how you're perceived, I, I guess. Like, obviously, it's, it's it's not all in the editing, like everyone says, but really, like, you, you your feelings are just so real. Um, so I was kind of just over... Especially felt, that young as well. Yeah, it was, and you're in a very vulnerable situation. Um, and then obviously I started doing my makeup more religiously. I started doing YouTube and things like that. Mm. Um, and then I got an email one day off American Beauty Star, and it was it was very discreet. It wasn't like obviously in those kind of things when it's the early stages, they can't tell you exactly what they're doing. Yeah. So I think I, I actually ended up ignoring the email about eight times, and they kept no. emailing me, kept emailing me. Um, and then eventually I thought, Do you know, what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna email them back and yeah. see what it's about because I, th- I thought maybe I'm just gonna get kidnapped. I don't know, like. <laughs> I'm not going to go to LA Maybe by I'm just myself. Get yeah, literally. And this was way before I'd done any kind of travel. It's like good that now. you're like cautious though, because some people wouldn't be. Well, yeah, you've got to be at the end of it. Like, there's some crazy people in this world. So I kind of mm. just, I, I kind of put it to the side. But yeah. then eventually I thought, Do you know what? They seem really keen. I'm going to, I'm going to reply. And then eventually I ended up going to LA for it, which was such a situation because I was, I remember being in, in LA and um, for a visa to get over there, it was, I needed some crazy zero B1 visa or whatever. Um, and to get it, you need to be like in the waiting list for a, a, a while. Whoa. Yeah. Um, and then they only told me like the week before I was going. So I ended up not being able to go at one point. And then eventually I got the visa. I had to go down to the um, embassy in London. So it was the scariest time of my life because I thought I was a criminal or something like and that. And how old are you at this point? Um, so I would have been 17 at this point. Yeah. 17. How are you even managing this at 17? No, like, that's grown up, isn't it? Well, yeah, like, I, I think I've grown up it's quick because of the situations like that. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we, we came, I think it was 2016. Wait, what year are we in now? 2019. So maybe I'm it was 2017. To be like, yeah, we're like, we definitely <laughs> are, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, maybe, so then it, I think that was 2017. I was, um, I did American Beauty Star. But again, oh, it was gosh. TV. Mm. Yeah, what was it like? Come on, give me the give me the tea. I need so, to know. So I think I think at the time my style of makeup it wasn't um, as respected as what it is now. Um, so I think because it was a little bit more like out there. Yeah, because it's very Instagrammy, if you know. What yeah, I mean. yeah. And I'll be honest, there's so many people in this industry that have been in it for such a long time that really just don't respect what mm-hmm. us Instagram artists do. Which to me, I respect any kind of makeup. I love makeup. Yeah. Um. So I never understand that to be honest. But I think that whole show was kind of run on that kind of mentality that Instagram makeup is yeah. it doesn't take talent to do it or it's not what? real. Yeah, no, literally. Hold on, I could not create a m m m Mitchell eye if I tried. Let's be serious. No, let's be bloody serious. No, so I think I think they just 
And do you know what? Everyone has the, their own taste, which is perfect. But um, I think the whole show was kind of run on the fact that editorial makeup is the only makeup that's yeah. like timeless or whatever. Mm. Again, it's totally cool to have your own opinion. But I think the whole yeah. show was run on that. Um, and I think especially the judges were very specific on that like that's what they wanted right. so then but when i was going through the process of it i was kind of like why have they asked me to come on the show like why have they approached me because i was like I, th- that is not what i do yeah and um every week i'd i try and do something to please them and then i thought you know what this is i'm not i'm not gonna please them because they they don't want to accept my art if you know what i mean yeah which again is cool but don't don't put me on your show just, <laughs> just all i've got to say um but yeah it was it was a cool it was a cool experience it was it was good to kind of it was my first time in la um and now you're here like every day yeah well exactly it was um, but i think for me it was um it was an experience and a learning a a learning curve for me um and again i probably wouldn't choose to do that kind of show again like a competition show because really i'm all about art and all about true talent and i'm not about drama or whatever like but again that's what tv is at the end of the day and i think that's what made me realize tv is about Mm -hmm. it's about views and about yeah putting on a good show for someone and... so while i was giving my all to putting in a, an amazing makeup look i think o- other people on the show were kind of like putting in the all to just get view time which is cool if that's what you're there for that's mm. what you're there for but i was kind of there for different reasons um but yeah it was it was a it was a good it was a good experience i guess but... so what came after that like is that when your life sort of kind of snowballed because now like i say you've blown up in the makeup industry you've got a million followers on instagram yes <laughs> crazy i've just uh, uh, uh like last month maybe or the month before i reached a million it was i actually i, mean, I was I'm in not Ibiza. surprised at <laughs> well, I, was, I was in Ibiza. I was celebrating I was, then i actually we was traveling the whole day before to Ibiza, so we was so no drunk the, 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 the day before then the yeah. day after i woke up and my friend, she's Scottish, um, she's called Laurie. Hey, Laurie. Hey, babes, um, I hope she's listening. <laughs> I hope she is. <laughs> to be fair, she might not have made it this long, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she switched off like yeah, a quarter of a um, <laughs> But she, I, I woke up and she was like, she's like, Mitchell, you've got a million followers. <laughs> I was like, I woke up and I was like, what? Hold on, I'm obsessed with that accent. I literally was like, what? Give me one more time. Give me that accent one more time. <laughs> Mitchell. Mitchell. You've got a million followers <laughs> on Instagram. Um, and I woke up and I'll be honest, I kind of was like, oh, I was so tired and so hungover. So I was kind of like, oh, wow. And went back to yeah, sleep. Then I woke up and I kind of sunk in and I was like, you. and it, I didn't, normally when you're kind of reaching a new milestone, you can kind of see it coming. And yeah. I did not see that coming. I think maybe yeah. the night before it was, I think I posted, I think Jeffrey maybe posted a video maybe the night before of us both. Mm-hmm. And obviously that boosted it again. Um, so I, because but obviously because I was drunk, I didn't even know he posted the video. Oh so my god! It all kind of happened very quickly. Um, yeah. And the next morning, I was just kind of like, oh, okay, I've got a million followers. Yeah. Oh wow. my god! What a realization. Yeah. <laughs> and talking of Jeffrey Star. Yeah. Okay, Jeffrey. we're gonna go on to him. You are at the minute touring with Tatty Lashes and yeah, Jeffrey Star, who was... we're we're proud sponsors of yes, right now. Yes, you are. Yeah. So how does a young lad from Manchester end up BFFs? With Jeffrey Star. Um, I'm honestly, I don't know the answer to that question, but I'll How tell you. How did Matt. you meet? Like what? So we met through Instagram. Um, I was here. I was here on an LA trip. Um, uh, maybe last year. Yeah, it was last year in August. Okay. And uh, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't even know how it came about. But we, he, he he'd followed me, but I didn't yeah. realize he followed me because oh my god, on Instagram you don't really see. I don't no, really see notifications. When, yeah. So I, I, I never realized it, and he must have followed me for a few weeks before I actually realized. And then my friend messaged me, and she was like, "You do realize Jeffrey Star follows you?" I freaked. <gasps> the fuck out and then i messaged him and i was like oh my god thank you so much for following me like i've literally loved you for so long um thank you so much How basically amazing, yeah. um and then we ended up hooking up like we ended up getting uh, together for to do his makeup the video yeah um, I, I went around it. to his house i was in my little toyota uber i was like oh my god i feel so out of place here right now <laughs> and then all of a sudden i open the door and i go i hear he's here and i was like oh my god i'm gonna s- i need to run away i was like <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah and he made me feel so welcome i went from being so nervous to being yeah. just so like at peace with where i was and um just like being there it was so crazy but and then jeffrey's honestly jeffrey i'll be honest my life wouldn't be what it is without jeffrey right now um oh my, my, God, my career so wouldn't be what it is without. and i think a lot of people are scared to say that when someone else in the industry helps you out yeah but i'm not scared to say it at all like, i know jeffrey's give me the most amazing opportunities that i would have never have had without him um, so I'm just, I, I, I honestly, I don't even know how to answer that question because I never in a million years thought that would happen to me. Like, it's crazy to be a fan. Yeah. Which I still am such yeah. a fan. Like every time he posts, I'm like, wow, oh my God, obsessed. Um, but then to actually be really close friends with someone as well, that's just, it's, it's a really humbling, um, humbling feeling. It's really crazy. 
um yeah it's just so so nice yeah do you know that's so nice to hear because i can sit like i can tell how genuine that is and oh, like, i watched that video for the first video and i was like oh my god because jeffrey's obviously just got this amazing huge big personality yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's Mitch in the corner, like, oh, yeah, you're right. Hi. Like, just so down like, to earth, which is absolutely incredible. But it's so nice to see I mean, two incredible artists, like, yeah, coming and, together and, you know and working I think together. With Jeffrey as well, it's just, um, it's such a, when, whenever I'm with him, and I just feel so ready to do new things and just yeah. be inspired. Like, even just being in LA, I kind of feel his aura around me. <laughs> I feel like he's in the room yeah, right his now. His spirit is here somewhere. <laughs> he's actually uh, not, by the way. But <laughs> <laughs> just he's to... not going to make uh, any cameos. <laughs> um, no, but uh, I've just got so much respect for the guy. Yeah. He's just, honestly, like, one of the most unreal people ever. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, I think you'll probably meet him um, Friday as well. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Hopefully, he'll, hopefully he'll be there. Yeah, that's gonna be a good. That's yeah. gonna be a good time. Tell him what's going on on Friday. So we're gonna launch our. Yeah. Well, it's already launched, but we're gonna do okay. like an LA launch for my Tatty Lashes Tail Mitchell Two. Yeah. My, my second launch with Tatty. Um, and it's kind of like a beauty con kind of pre-event. Yeah, just a At kind the PLT of PLT showroom. Yeah. yeah. And we're it's Tatty Lashes here. and mine together it's my it's our first beauty con so oh we're kind of just setting the tone for the weekend we're letting everyone know we're here mm -hmm. so yeah i'm excited okay and i can't wait to see the plt head office well. have you never been no I, i've been here so many times that brogan has been like oh yeah it's nearly done <laughs> i'm like okay so when is it actually going to be done oh my god you're gonna absolutely love it though it was meant to be done in like november it. wasn't it yeah i feel like it took a while to come but you know what good things take time yeah yeah they you do. know that like the amazing. unicorns yeah, are yeah. insane the pink you think this is a vibe wait till you get to the office i'm telling <laughs> I'm you you know i love anything pink as you can see right now as you can see yeah now i think we've established that like your growth in the past few years has been absolutely phenomenal and not only are you working with jeffree star you're working with nikki tutorials yeah. makeup by mario like to name a couple literally yeah. to name a few well nikki nikki was like the first influencer that i actually got to work with was it um, yeah nikki tutorials of yeah. all people like she's massive it was crazy um she flew me over and she kind of she kind of was doing this like um series where she'd like get a, a, another artist like an instagram Love artist that. to come and paint them and kind of like do like a um comparison to what she would do to what no i would way. to what they would do um and i was the first one that got to do it um and it Honestly, I more so obviously I'm so proud of myself that I got to do that. Yeah. I'm so excited. But yeah. I'm more so proud of the fact that I'm kind of for us makeup artists that are on the makeup artist side of things rather than influencer side of things, I'm yeah. I'm I'm proud that I'm kind of laying the way for that if you know what i mean yeah, to kind yeah, of yeah, merge yeah. the two sides together because it's yeah. y the beauty that we can create together is just insane so i just think it's so cool that I, I was the first one to do that with nikki and that kind of set the tone for the rest of my year then and then i ended up going i did it with jeffrey yeah. and it was just yeah it was um it's crazy and even nikki like wow she's she's an og she is the yeah OG. she is um so then to be one of the first people to like collab with her in that sense mm -hmm. it's just so 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 amazing and honestly just so grateful to that girl because if it wasn't for her, I don't know where I'd be right now. Like, yeah. I don't even know if I'd have the same opportunities with Jeffrey. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'd be doing. Do you know what I mean? So it was, wow. yeah, it was, it's cute. It was a really cute time. I loved it. With all of this, how do you manage to stay grounded? My mum. <laughs> My mum would slap me. Shout out to your mum. My mum would slap me silly if I wasn't. Um, no, to be fair, I um, I just think if if this was to end tomorrow, for instance, I, I pray yeah. that it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, but I know in this industry, people come and go. Mm -hmm. um, and when it eventually I do go, I want to be known for just being a nice guy. And um, I don't want people to be like, oh, yeah, he deserved to go down. You know what I mean? That's that's the way I look at it. Um, and I just think it, it's just just be nice. It's so much easier than yeah. having like hate in your heart. Yeah. Um, and I just think if you can make someone smile one one time a day, you're doing something right. So hopefully that's what I do. And um, I'm actually obsessed with you. Like I'm falling in love with you right uh, now. Like honestly, you are such a lovely love person, oh, though. Like, so and I think that is so nice and like refreshing to hear and to see like how genuine you are and how down to earth you are. And I think, you know, coming from Manchester, yeah. you've got all your Manchester girls and boys exactly. behind and you. I and just like, think it's it, that's uh, for me. I spend so much a t so much of my time out of the country yeah. but then when i'm back in manchester and i get the love of like just pure manchester people i love it um <laughs> yeah I, I love we manchester. are a certain kind yeah, of we people. are a very certain kind uh, <laughs> probably not the ones that should be accepted in la but, oh you know. <laughs> no we no we're here yeah we're here yeah but we're here to stay um but yeah I, I i just for me i just think why would you ever want to be a dick yeah you know what i mean it's just so yeah. much easier to just be nice to someone um and i think especially when it comes to working with brands and um doing things like this today i would yeah. much rather someone want to work with me again for being nice rather than just for creating a bit of drama do you know what i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's the way i look at it yeah you're so mature and oh, you. you're i mean 
you're only 20 years old and that's hard yeah. the reason i struggle to say that is because you are so successful thank you so much how on earth are you only 20 years old honestly i don't feel 20 and all my mates are so much older than me as well so are they they're, they're they're a little bit older than i can't say that they'll be it they'll be, they'll be <laughs> everyone's like oh my god don't yeah, like, give away my age <laughs> no all my all, Everyone that I surround myself with is usually a little bit older than me. So yeah. I think I kind of forget that I am younger. Um, and then it's when I'm doing things like this that I'll I'll be in the t- Uber on the way back to the hotel and I'm kind of like, wow, I'm out here doing this. It's, yeah. It's so crazy. But again, that coming back to being so grounded, like mm-hmm. I'm so young and I need to make sure that I'm making the most out of things. But also... You're seeing ma- things for what uh, they are. Uh, yeah, and, and taking it all really in. realizing how lucky I am and blessed I am. And even though I've worked fucking hard to be where I am right now, yeah. um, I need to know that everyone works hard. a lot of people work hard and they don't get the opportunities that i get sometimes so i'm just so grateful that i get them and um i think sometimes it does take a bit of realizing to think wow you're only 20 and you're doing this it's, yeah it's crazy it is and you've spoke a lot about your family and your mum what do they think of your life because they can't think it's normal well, like do you know what i mean my mum doesn't feel like my job <laughs> at plt is normal your your life like it's crazy like well, my mum and dad have, well my mum has uh, especially has got to deal with my um shopping addiction yeah well this is it come on tell yeah. me um so <laughs> she um again i've literally when i was younger we uh, my my mum and dad loved a netto shop they loved a little shop you yeah, know what i mean yeah, it yeah. wasn't anything like what i shop today um so they kind of <laughs> they can't it's kind of weird for them to see me shopping in crazy places and things like that and yeah. traveling the world and having the more of like a luxurious life than what i used to yeah, yeah. um at 20 so they, they just obviously they're so proud but they're kind of excited of the fact that they get to come come along with me and yeah. kind of experience it as well and we get to eat in nice places and yeah things that we never used to get to do um but how amazing that you're that person for your family to well, that's do what that. i mean it's just so it, again it's that's what that's what i live for i just yeah. want uh, everyone around me to be happy if you know what i mean that's all, all that i live for and as long as my mom and my dad and my family are happier then i'm happy and yeah and yeah. what is it like when you do go home like what do you like to do when you're back in manchester Sleep. apart from go club live or wherever club live <laughs> you know hi club live <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, can i go get right. on the guest list <laughs> <laughs> no um, like you have to ask <laughs> <laughs> no to be fair speaking of club live yeah um i was actually there maybe like last month and that was my last time that i went actually um <laughs> because i ended up getting kicked out stop <laughs> I was that drunk that I ended up getting literally picked up and taken out of the club. My feet did not touch the floor. <gasps> well, at least I was literally <laughs> lifted out of the club. Um, what I got, did you do? Dare I even ask? I, honestly, I don't actually remember. But from That's kind of like to putting be. pieces together, yeah, it's the best way. But from putting pieces together and from looking at Snapchat, um, <laughs> Snapchat things that I've saved and not actually posted. Oh. Um, I think I was climbing on the furniture. Oh, I feel like that is a thing you do in Club Live. Like yeah. in the boobs that I always get Oh, yeah, on, I end up sliding the down them. And oh, right, okay. Yeah, I was climbing all over. So you were just living I your think. best life exactly. and the bouncers just weren't having it that night. Well, no, they weren't. So okay. I ended up getting lifted. And I've not, I've just not been brave enough to show my face again yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Maybe um, when you're next back in the country. Yeah, well, I don't, maybe maybe I'll leave it till next year. Maybe I'll let them um, <laughs> forget about me. Let it simmer good down. The thing is, there's a lot of good clubs in Manchester right now. There so is. I can go elsewhere there and is. just not climb on their furniture. But yeah. Next remember. time you're back, we'll go. Yeah, we're doing it. Sweet. We're doing it. Okay, you recently said, I'm going to quote here, I never in a million years thought this would be my life. Exactly. I Explain never, that ever, to me. I just, again, coming from where I've come from, and I'm so happy that I've come from where I've come from because I really appreciate what my life is now a lot more, I think because of where I have come from. Yeah. Like I came from a little council estate in, in West Harton. Mm-hmm. Love a good council estate. And um, I think when you're surrounded by the people that I was surrounded by, you, you kind of get in the mindset that you're, gonna be where you are forever really yeah um and i think i always try to stay away from that i always try to think of bigger things yeah um and i think that's what one thing i've always been really good at kind of staying positive and staying um staying true to my my goals yeah but i just never in a million years thought i'd be here with something like pretty little thing doing a podcast in la it's just it's honestly the little things like today like that you add them all together and it's like wow like like i I, in my head i've actually just thought uh, I've just had an out body experience. <laughs> um, I just never in a million years thought I'd have the life that I live today. Ever, ever, ever. I mean, I've always wanted the life that I live yeah. today. And I've always thought this is what I'm meant to have um, in my heart because I know I work so hard for it. Yeah. But I just never thought it'd happen. So then when it actually happens, you're like, wow, shit, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, it's just mad. Um, but again, I never thought I'd have it. And again, that's why I'm so grateful for what I have because if it got taken mm. away from me tomorrow, I've loved every minute of what I have right now and what I've had. Um, 
so I'm just I just take every day in its stride and um every day just seems to get better and better which I'm again so grateful for uh, but yeah I've always seen from the outside how and why you've got to where you are but from the inside like honestly meeting you like Aww, I can really see so why sweet. you've got to where you are so congratulations oh, thank on you so much. everything you're doing you too hello pretty little thing podcast that's member. it shout out to the podcast yes I love it <laughs> and to all the work trips and amazing things and opportunities you get to do what has been the craziest trip or opportunity that you've that's happened to you so far wow i mean i always have the craziest times in la <laughs> of la is just crazy <laughs> I, la is like manchester times 20 a i thousand, think yeah literally. um so i always have crazy times in la um any funny stories or wild stories you can tell us about like maybe when you first started coming through okay i feel like one you've got just, a few yeah one has just swung <laughs> to my mind so um one of my very nice friends mm-hmm. patrick star and um, the first time that i came here oh no the first time no it's the second time i came here actually okay I came here for a work trip. Um, I came from, I think I came from Mexico, and then I was going from LA to the Dominican, but I was here for a few oh days. Oh my God. Yeah, so wow. it's crazy. <laughs> um, and I ended up going out with Patrick. We got very drunk, and um, we, went, we went back to his um, studio. We ended up trying to film a drunk makeup tutorial. Stop. Which didn't go very well. We, I think <laughs> I was literally like this, like, the whole time uh, one day i think we'll put that out one day we will oh my but god i need to see it i just it. don't know if i'm ready yet i feel like you need an anniversary or something big yeah. that's got maybe maybe if i ever reach um a, a, another milestone maybe maybe that will right, be right everyone that's not following mm mitchell mm <laughs> mitchell right now on instagram maybe Go maybe 1.5 mil maybe right, i'll 1. release 5, it right no no like you like, i think you should release it now we'll put that out it. into the world now 1.5 so mil is it's out it, it's gone to the universe don't do it unfollow quick um, no, so and anyway, so we we went out, yeah. um, then we went, went back to Patrick's house, um, filmed a video, and I was like, Patrick, I've got to stop. I was so drunk at this point. I was like, I was literally falling asleep as I was doing makeup. <laughs> and I'm one of them people, I will fall asleep anywhere. Stop. I, I will probably fall asleep here at the end of this podcast. Oh my God. Um, we just took you in. <laughs> literally, I'm in a perfect place to fall asleep. <laughs> You've got a bed. Look at us, just, we just ramble. I love literally, it. Literally, I know, I can talk to like all day. <laughs> um, so anyway, so... It, I ended up being like, can we stop now? So we stopped and all of a sudden I had this urge about me. No, you don't even want to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. (laughs) I had this urge come over me that I really needed the toilet. Right. So me thinking I was in a comfortable environment. I walked over to his stairs thinking it was a toilet. (laughs) I pulled down my pants, boxers, the shorts, the lot. (laughs) And I pissed on Patrick Starr's stairs. Mm Mm-hmm. How many people can say they have pissed on Patrick Star's stairs? Well, I'm grateful for every day. <laughs> I'm you grateful that I moments. get to have that title, I guess. <laughs> um, and then the next day, I had the worst fear in my life. You know, when you wake up and you're like, and what you realise what you've done. My friend was like, Mitchell, you pissed on Patrick Star's floor yesterday. I was like... Did he know at yes, this time? Yes, he wiped it up. <laughs> yeah. What a good friend. I mean, you two are good friends, obviously, yeah, clearly. It, no it, one can I will say respect that's not him real. till the day I die for that. <laughs> Um, and I texted him the next day. I was like, Patrick, I'm so sorry I did that. I was like, please <laughs> forgive me. And he was like, girl, it's fine. It was like, I've been there. We've done that. I was like, are you sure? Are you sure you've, you've pissed on someone's <laughs> floor like that? Someone that you've been following for years. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, my life is absolutely mental. So that was probably my, the maddest, um, I'm not going to say regret, but situation. Yeah. I don't regret it. Well, no. Maybe, no, actually, I do regret it. I wish no I didn't do that. No way. You're, look where you've come. Like, it didn't slow you down I at mean, all. No, it didn't Pissing slow me down. Pissing on his stairs hasn't slowed you down. Who's, who's who's stairs shall I piss on next? Yeah, come on. Anyone just send it into the podcast. <laughs> we'll send you an email. <laughs> we'll arrange it. We'll book this little... Yeah. I mean, yeah, that sounds a bit weird no, now. I'm, I, I'm a bit more... Um, I can handle my drink a lot better now. I, I guess that's the situation. So, yeah. I won't Thank be putting you. myself in that situation anytime soon. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing that story yeah. with us. I think that's one that the listeners are going to enjoy a lot. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed listening I mean, to well, I'll give everything to you guys. So. This is what a podcast is all yeah. about, isn't it? Do you know what well, I mean? Well, that's what I mean. I, I said I'm an open book and yeah. That's I love what that. Here today. I love that. Well, your journey, like I said, has just been incredible, and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Oh, thank you so much. But let's talk about Pride. Okay. So you recently starred in our Pride campaign, yes, My that Pride, was so cool. alongside some amazing familiar yeah, faces. It was amazing. Tell it was, me, how was that for you? It was such an amazing day, and I'll be honest, I don't really ever get involved in Pride things. Yeah. Just because I've never really had the opportunity to. Okay. Um, and every time Pride seems to be around, I'm always away. Um, so especially Manchester Pride. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was just a really nice kind of day where we was in somewhere like Pretty Little Thing, which is obviously such a huge brand, but with people that are the a minority, if you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. there was gays, there was drag queens, yeah. there was 
pretty much anyone there, anyone and everyone. Um, and I just think it was such a, it was such a nice day to kind of it all be about us yeah. and all be about what we stand for and all about our differences, um, and how your differences really make you so special. Yeah. And it was nice to be appreciated for our differences that day. And um, it was, it was. I think that's what we need to do more in the world: celebrate our differences rather than going against each other for our differences. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was it was an amazing day. And it was and really nice to connect with Pretty mm-hmm. Lot Thing as well because they've been so cool with me ever since. Yeah, it was cool, really sweet. And you said you don't really get involved with, you know, the Pride side, mainly because yeah. you're not there, but just, why, I did wish you, I could. why did you decide to, you know, obviously PLT approached you, but mm-hmm. why did you decide to go, yeah, I'll do that with PLT as a brand? Well, I think it was, I think it was a, um, the timing was perfect. Mm-hmm. I think it was a time where really this year, I think, you know, when Kylie does that thing, she's like, it's about realising. So, um, really, this year rea- is about realisation. And actually, about that's that. not the quote, is it? But. <laughs> some else, some along <laughs> the lines. Um, but this year, I've really just realised who I am. I love and, that. And um, I've really just learned to just accept myself and not give two fucks about what other people think of me. Because as long as I'm being a good person and making mistakes but learning from them, yeah. um, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. So I felt like it was it was really the first time in my life where I felt pride in myself. Um, oh so my then God. when the opportunity came, it was like, it was... I just felt it w- felt right. It felt cool. Yeah, it was good. And what does pride mean to you as Mitchell, as a person? Pride to me, it's it's more about a community for me. It's yeah. not not just about me being gay and loving boys like I do. <laughs> um, it's, it's like more, I do. It's more than that. It's about straight people. It's about gay people. It's about anyone that's just feels a little bit different yeah. um, and just all coming together. And I think in Manchester, we have a really good um, representation of that when we yeah. all come together for pride. It's just such a cool, cool experience, I think. Um, and it's just not about like who you love or what you look like or what you wear or what yeah. makeup you wear. It's just about just everyone as a whole. And it, that's what really what it is for me, just everyone come together. And I think the shoot was a really cool representation of that as well because there were so many different kinds of people yeah. there. Yeah, it was cool. And okay, we're in LA right now. But Manchester Pride is soon coming up. Yeah. So what's happening? Are you going to be there? Have you got any no, big plans? I'm not going to be there. No, I'm so sad. Because again, this is my first year where I'm fully like, I'm happy to be like, yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> this is me. Take it or leave it. Um, I, I've grown a lot this year. So I, I, yeah. I, I was really, really wanted to make it this year. But I'm actually going to be here in LA for Pride. Um, I'm launching something pretty soon. So that'll be, um, well, it'll be launched by the time Ooh. this is. I'm actually launching, well, you guys yeah, will know. Yeah, come on, let's so talk about it. I'm launching a palette, but we're going to do an LA launch as well, which is so Ooh. cool. So yeah, because um, the whole kind of palette is kind of themed on my kind of my journey through life oh my God, and how I've ended up that. going to LA so much. And that's kind of like a big part of it and um, like the theme of it all. So yeah, we're going to launch it in LA. Um, but yeah, it's just so crazy, but I'm so sad that we can't be Next time, yes. Next, next, next year, year you're gonna I'll, need to lock it down. Okay, like you I'll can't do anything. Diary right I mean, after we this. can't blame you. I mean, you're launching a palette, like yeah. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good <laughs> enough a good excuse, excuse, I think. Yeah, yeah. But I'll be there in spirit, and I'll be watching everyone's stories, hundred percent. Definitely. Well, like I said, you've accomplished so much, but I want to know, like, what is your dream right now? My dream. Well, I'm I'm such a dreamer. I've got so many dreams. Whether it's like a new bag, <laughs> <laughs> we all dream or about those. <laughs> a house. Like, I, I really, my end dream is for my whole family to just be comfortable. Um, I want my mum to have a house that she's never had before. Like, she's she's never been able to buy a house. Um, right. so I want my mum to have a house in her name. My dad's got a house. It's it's started now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but eventually, I want to buy my mum a house. Obviously, I want to buy myself a house. Um, but I I just kind of want to I want to keep spreading what I kind of like to mm-hmm. ooze out to people. I just want. I want people to be around me and feel comfortable, um, whether they followed me for years or they literally have never met me before. I want them to just think like, I'm just a normal guy. Um, so that's my end goal. And I think I'll, obviously we've all got goals like, as in like what you want to buy next yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. But really my end goal is just to have a really comfortable lifestyle and um, just appreciate every day as it comes and maybe one day find a tall hunk. But yeah. <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty well by myself at the minute. Yes, so, um, you are. You don't need a man. So we don't mm-hmm. need a man. But mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of my goals. Day. One day. One day. One that doesn't. If you ever out. slow down. Yeah. No fuck buys, please. <laughs> Not over here. <laughs> so anyone listening, what 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 kind of guy do you go for? Is there a type or? Just... I love a builder, an electrician. Right. Um, so when Mitchell gets his house, yeah, <laughs> everyone get knocking exactly. on that door. <laughs> <laughs> um, a scaffolder, the, anything that's a, so it's a like man. a rugged yeah. man, okay. someone that doesn't look clean. <laughs> yeah, I just a, a, a tough guy. Yeah, okay, applicants guy. get into his DMs. <laughs> I'm sure they're wild as it is. I'm ready. I'm I'm gonna be sliding <laughs> through them soon. <laughs> and if you could give yourself one piece of advice that you never heard when you were younger and you wish you'd had, what would it be now? Um, I think it'd be like 
ride it out ride mm-hmm. the bullying out because one day you're going to be someone um someone that you really never thought you would be um and just stay true to who you are i think that's me telling myself even just three years ago i'd say don't listen to what people say about you um yeah never back down which i'm so glad i never did um never back down and just st- st- be you and that's what i'd say to anyone like yeah I've had so many t- so many questions recently where people say, like, how can I be like you? And I'm like, I, I just feel like that. saying, don't be like me, be like you, be you. And that's really the, as long as you're living an authentic life and living your best life being you, that's, mm-hmm. I think that's that's the end goal for everyone. Um, so yeah, I'd just say, keep doing what you're doing because one day it will pay off. Yeah. I love that. I love Bit of that. inspiration to yes. end the podcast there. Yes. Ching. <laughs> Mitchell, it's been amazing getting oh, no, to know you. Thank you so much. It's but I'm so not going to end it just here. Oh, okay. I've got a little bit of a game for you. Oh, here we go. Should go you on. choose to um, play along. So to everybody watching on YouTube, you are now going to need to go to the link below and head to iTunes to listen to the exclusive part of the podcast. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it, I think it's going to be juicy. We're okay. going to play a game. I'm going to just tell you. We're going to play a game of dare okay. or dare. Oh, so there's no There's other. no truth or dare. It's just dare or dare. Okay. Okay. So Am make I being sure you click the link this, below. You're or... fully being forced. Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching at home. This has been PLT Behind Closed Doors with Mama Mitchell. Love you all.